always played important roles in the progress of a nation. Through their significant contributions to the economic, political, cultural and educational space of the society. Whatever a woman is, whether a woman is a caretaker, farmer, educator or an entrepreneur, their central role ensures stability, progress and long-term development in the society. However, when women suffer gender-based discrimination and violence, it leads to feminization of poverty a process where a woman lacks income security, sustainable livelihood and access to economic resources. To combat these challenges and in line with our theme's agenda, Mr. Governor, Babajide Samwolu is committed to providing women with means of learning various skills in order to earn a healthy income that will enhance their roles in sustaining their families and communities. Through the Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, WAPA, the state government keeps improving the status of women in Lagos State in order to make them economically independent, financially viable and self-reliant. It also gives them a voice in the society, which automatically cascades to the total development of the children. Among the ways through which this has been done are skill acquisition training, empowerment and poverty alleviation programs. These have become a tool of empowerment to mitigate the effect of poverty, frustrations and criminal tendencies emanating largely from unemployment and the prevalent poor economic situation of the country. To this end, WAPA organizes short-term vocational training programs for women and young female adults, widows, vulnerable women and retired female civil servants. Also. The youth are not left out as they are undergoing long-term training at the skill acquisition centers spread across the states. This training is geared towards the empowerment of individuals who are about to retire by equipping them with requisite skills needed to enhance their opportunity for multiple streams of income. Because of this, the Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Elevation and the Lagos State Government is mindful of the fact that prevailing economic circumstances poses serious challenges to women in particular. And this led to the creation of 17 functional skills acquisition centers across the five divisions of the state, where various forms of over 17 skills are offered on a tuition free basis for the benefits of the retiring public servants in the state. Various young females and male are trained in various vocations, such as hairdressing, tie and dye, makeup and guillotine, catering and hotel management, leather works, and fashion design, amongst others. In the same vein, over 1,500 youths are currently acquiring skills on barbing, photography, computer studies, bead making, aluminium and welding, printing vulcanizing and wheel balancing, refrigerator and air conditioner repairs and the different centers spread across the state. I joined the school through a friend who graduated from this place. The person testified as to how great the teacher has been, as to how great the mentorship with, um, with the instructors has been and the product and everything. So I was amazed and as to the fact that the tuition has been actually been free. So I was amazed and I decided to join. I've learned a lot concerning how to braid. I do plan to start a business in future. So I decided, and as to the fact that I had the passion of hairdressing, so I decided to train myself. So I tried to train myself. That was why I decided to come down here. So my plan with it is to start a fashion, a saloon in the next future, not just that, and also to use the fend for myself once I get to school. Each of the skill acquisition centers train on a regular basis an average of 200 students per session. It should be noted here that these training are free for all the participants. Anybody can come into Lagos to skill acquisition centers as long as the person is resident in Lagos. So we ask them to bring their last wrap so that we can know how many we are in Lagos and as such plan for the future. And then in catering and uh, hotel management, 
as well as in computer studies, we ask for minimum of school certificate. I had um, someone that was studying at the um, Ejibo, Ejibo um, Center. So she told me about it because I've been passionate about catering and I do a little bit of it but not so good. And she t told me that the form is out. I can actually pick it and it's for free. I'm like, for free? Is there anything free in Nigeria? She was like, she's not joking. All I need to give yet is just the form. And that's all. And that's how I applied. And it's been good so far. I've been learning so far. I've improved in human management, especially because I'm not really good with people. So now I've learned to understand people, work with people, and um, the area of baking in large quantity. I don't know how to um, do things in large quantity. Now I've learned how to manage something in large quantity. I came in here to learn a skill. And uh, what happens is that each time I'm in the center, my students complain of not having jobs and I've been living in this estate and I told them that with skills in your hand you can make a means of livelihood, not just a paper certificate. And they were saying, ah no, I said no, it's free. So I came here, one, for passion, to learn about the fashion and also to prove a point to the younger ones that we don't depend solely on paper certificate. We need a handwork that can make us earn a means of livelihood, particularly the way we are in the nation now. You need to really have a handwork. You can't be too old not to learn anything because every individual has a cognitive that it can make use of as long as you have all your senses there and it's determination. If you decide you want to come even at 80, you can come in and learn. The administration also organizes short-term three-month skill acquisition training programs for working women who do not usually have time for the full-time training. This is to equip and empower them in preparation for retirement. Yes, part of our Kotokoa, Kunani, Asiri, Yawa, Adi, Are, Apanaro, as well as she designed our penny batik, as to she see or rear. Taba would add that, Kodama, she, my she, no she, designing, and be all as we share, all as we share, because my share of Panibiko, he said, don't call a lily. Uncle Aboshi, she, three six in your cap. To further strengthen women, the administration on a regular basis organizes short term training for faith based women organizations such as the Anglican Communion, Methodist, Catholic, and Saradin Society, amongst others. The training runs for a few days or weeks. The short-term training, we give everybody starter packs. But for the long-term skill acquisition training, we give only the best of all the, again, the skills. The last graduation we did, we had about 4,880 students graduating from our skill, 17 skill acquisition centers. And we gave the best students from all the 17 centers startup equipment for them to be able to start the business. 
Well, I learned a lot, a lot that I don't know about, like how to apply makeup, then I can use it to make money. Well, I would like to say a very big thank you to the Lagos State Government, because this enables us not to be idle at home, then we can use it to sustain ourselves and make Nigeria a better nation. I'd like to say a very big thank you, because I didn't, I didn't come here, I wouldn't have gotten the idea of this stoning, but now with that skills I've learned, I can be able to do my own, open my own small something you know, and start up something. I would say um, for the soap making department I attended, I was I, I was very happy with it and all that I was taught, I feel good because everything that I learned there, I had no idea of it before. But through, um, through the process of this three weeks training, I gained a lot and all that I have gained, I know that God by his power, infinite mercy and his power will enable me to use it to make something better out of it. Still on women empowerment, the administration sustained the organization of the annual WAPA Connect. The year 2019 conference was themed Women Empowerment and its link to sustainable development. WAPA Connect is a program designed to close the gender gap between women and men, promote women's economic empowerment in a small rural environment, and pursue financial independence of women. The 2019 conference was a unique one as it featured facilitators and seasoned professionals who are passionate about the cause of women and the society. Speakers emphasized on the need to recognize women's equality and empowerment as a crucial part of the solution for Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. In furtherance of his pledge to end poverty through the implementation of socioeconomic programs, the Lagos State Governor in January empowered 1,050 vulnerable and indigents in the states. We just had a mega empowerment program where we empowered 1,050 women and a few youths. We also have 17 skill acquisition centers all around the five divisions of Lagos State. We usually have this um, short-term skill acquisition trainings for women from different sectors. We've had trainings for retirees. We've had training for widows. We've had training for women in the River Rhine areas. And not just short-term training, we also give them startup kits so that after such trainings, they can start their own business. There was one we did in um, one of the local governments in Apapa. While the training was going on, a lady was, was taught how to make liquid soap. While she was still going through that training, she had a party to attend, and she made a lot of such bottle soap for Slovenia. And at that party, she got like three others. So before she finished her training, she had already started the business. I thank God for the skill. I thank the, His Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State, Governor Baba Jide Sonwolu, for the opportunity, for the training, for the skill acquisition, and also for the empowerment by giving us this machine. We have learned the skill, we have been given the equipment to hit the ground running. Adupalawa Governor, Baba Jide Olusola Sonwolu, Adupalawa, we have already done shape for me. I'm so happy. Uh, deep inside my heart, I say thank you. I'm just too happy for this uh, great opportunity given out to me to get the sewing machine. Uh, the, the sewing machine that I'm using presently is really giving me headache. I'll be praying towards getting another one. So when I was called that I'm one of the beneficiaries of this machine, I said, wow, by the grace of God, I'm going to use this home machine to make a lot of clothes, to make money to my pocket, to, to help my husband at home to do one or two things. It's going to refresh income and it's, going to, it's also going to make uh, opportunity for people to learn under my Oh, the beneficiaries of this program were made up of vulnerable women, indigent residents, as well as graduates of the skill acquisition centers, drawn from the 20 local government areas and 37 local cancer development areas.
The beneficiaries received, in addition to the usual financial support, business support tools and equipment, such as grinding machines, hairdressing tools, sewing machines, amongst others. One of the key functions of government is to bring what we call the greatest good to the greatest number of people. Living in poverty or on the edge of poverty is not a cause. But the whole essence of government is to see how we alleviate people from poverty and we give them the right to live and to live well and to do well. What we're doing here today, lean hands to that fact, is by pulling up some of the very vulnerable people in our midst and by giving them a soccer is by giving them hope, is by ensuring that our party continue to support the vulnerable and especially our women because we understand and we know that they are the owners and they are the ones that truly really, really help our family. And like they keep saying, if you empower a woman, you are not only empowering a family, you are empowering in, in a bid to lend government support to advocacy activities that are geared towards raising awareness on domestic violence, sexual violence, and other related offenses. We, Lagos State Government, through the Ministry of Women Affairs and Property Elevation, no to gender based violence. We're celebrating the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence celebrated around the world at this time of the year. With this work to sensitize the general public that when a girl says no, she means no. And that Lagos State government has zero tolerance for gender-based violence. That we stand against gender-based violence in the Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Elevation. We say no to rape. We say no to child abuse. We say no to gender-based violence. This is another evidence of the administration's intolerance for abuse of any kind against women, as their role in the development of the state cannot be overemphasized. The Lagos State Government is also working together with the Police Command and all other relevant agencies to bring crime to zero level, with no offender going unpunished. To further emphasize the administration's zero tolerance to domestic violence against women, WAPA organized an advocacy program tagged Catch Them Young. The program was geared towards teaching young boys the right ways to treat a woman, irrespective of their behaviors, it is easier to build strong children and broken adults. When your wife or any woman provokes you, tell yourself, I refuse to be a fool. When anybody provokes you, tell yourself, you refuse to be a fool. It has worked for me, and I'm sure it will work for you too. Amen. We women, our specialty is to provoke you. And I'm sure you all know that already. So, always have it at the back of your mind. This woman will not make me a fool. I refuse to be a fool. Do you know what you should do? At times when they begin to provoke you, switch off. Just switch off. When I say switch off, the woman will be there in front of you, ranting, making noise. You know somebody is standing there but you are not even seeing her, and you are not listening to what she's saying. By the time she makes all the ranting and the shouting and everything, I'm giving you a tip. I'm telling you our secret. By the time she makes all the noise, and she sees that you are not reacting, she herself in her mind will be talking to herself. Am I not about doing this thing? Shouldn't I just keep quiet? What is going on on this man's mind? And at that time, we will begin to adjust ourselves gradually and keep our mouth shut. But the most important thing in every relationship 
is communication. Mm. And let me also tell you something. When you're fighting with your wife, your son is looking at you. Your son will not see any reason why he should not be violent with a girl. But when your son knows that no matter mommy's ranting and shouting, my daddy has never touched my mommy before, that child will grow up to know that I must never touch a girl. I must never touch my wife. So you are not just helping yourself, you are also helping your children. And you know, when you bring up a child in the way that they should go, when they grow up, they will not depart from it. To accelerate sustainable development of our dear state, Mr. Governor launched the He for She campaign to enlist the support of men and boys in the fight for gender equality in Lagos. This campaign was initiated by the United Nations to create a society that will accelerate women's economic empowerment, support women's role in peace and security processes, advance women's political participation and leadership, and eliminate all kinds of gender-based violence. To show how important this issue is to the administration, the governor, Mr. Babaji De Sanwulu, head of service, Mr. Kim Murio Kwala, Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Mr. Moyo Onigmanchu, and five others were officially decorated as E for She champions in Lagos State. I want to join you by making a very simple statement. If we check the population of the world, of Nigeria, of anybody, the population is typically, maybe they'll say it's 59, sorry, 51, 49, they'll say it's 50, 50, or some jurisdiction, they'll say it is 50.5 to 49.5, 48.5, 51.5. What am I trying to analyze? Anyhow you look at the demography, male is never in any dominant form. The Lord Almighty has done it such that even the difference is certainly not more than 1%. So the question we we'll ask ourselves is that why will we want to disenfranchise a total half? It's like you're having two hands and decide not to recognize one of them. And you start to only use one hand. When you have two hands to do so many things. So it's a very simple analysis for we men to understand and to realize that it's only when we work with our two hands that we'll be able to do better work. It's only when we realize that if the world is 100%, and there's an arm that is 49%, or that is 41, 49.5%, but that's even 50%. Why would it be difficult for us to want to embrace that half of us to ensure that we're whole being and we can do very, very well? So it's a very simple analysis that all of us need to think out and say to ourselves that if two of us can do better, why one person? So it's a simple analysis that I've done to say that in any participation of life, we men that are here, we must ensure that our women are not behind us, they are not in front of us, they are beside us all of the time. Because it is only when they have that equal strength with us that all of the issues and all of the problems right, can be solved and will be resolved. So it, it, I don't know why it took us this long to sort of like realize and appreciate it. So you can rest assured that for us in Lagos State, we are committed. It is the way to go for us, and everything we do, we must reflect that other arm of us. It's only when we have the two that we can do it well. Undoubtedly, the administration has proven over time and continues to show through the various programs that a self reliant, self confident, and an empowered woman is an asset to our family, community, state, and the nation as a whole. Hence, Promotion of women's interests and welfare will always be at the front burner of the policies of this administration. It should also be emphasized that commitment to empowering women and youth as they play vital roles in the economic development of the family and the community is of importance to this administration. An empowered woman is a secured generation. This present administration within this short time has shown that women empowerment remains top priority.
Domestic violence is a major department in the Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Elevation Lagos State. Lagos State government frowns against domestic violence. And paraventure we have people who are going through things like this. The Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Elevation urge each and every one of us to speak up and speak out. Being quiet is not the right way to go. You can call 0810-267-8443 or 0808-575-1000. Four two two six or 0808 Paraventure, you don't want people to know you. You don't want you don't want to talk one on one. You have an email address that you can also send your message to or your complaints. It's wapadvu at gmail dot com. Wapadvu. That's WAPA Domestic Violence Unit, WAPADVU at gmail.com. Being quiet is not the way to go. And if you have any inquiries, you can also come to the Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Elevation or Block 18, Room 316, Alausa Ikeja.